What's up, Takeover Gang? It's your girl, Maya. And it's your boy, Daniel here. And we are back with another MD Takeover video. Yes, but before we even get into this video, make sure you start with doing like this video, comment down below, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to our channel, we welcome you out to the Takeover Gang. We have new content out every Tuesday and every Thursday. And you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. No, you don't want to. Anyway, y'all. Um, <laughs> so, brother and I are trying poke today. Poke. Just like the song. They call me Pokey. Mm. Ah, hey, what y'all know about that? Nothing. Mm. Anyway, so you want to give us a prayer before we go ahead and get mm -hmm. to it? Dear Lord, thank you for this, uh, Lord God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to make this video, Lord God. Thank you for the food that has been prepared for four hour beings, Lord God. We thank you for the opportunity to make this video. We pray for each and every person that watches this video, for each and every subscriber, for each and every new subscriber that you are bringing us, because we know you're going to do it. We know you're going to do it, because you always do it. And it's in your name we do pray. Amen. Amen. So, yes, today we are eating poke. This is my first time trying poke. Yeah. But it's got a lot going on. So, so it, we, we it got the same. It definitely has a lot going on. And I was sitting there watching her make it. And I said, oh, I should have told her no avocados. Because she put buku avocados. But it's, I mean, it's a very colorful bowl. If I so must good. say. It does smell really good. So it's called Under the Sea. So we both got a brown rice base. And it has eel sauce and a spicy mayo. Then it has crawfish, shrimp, and scallops. Then it's... Um, Cucumbers, uh, seaweed, seaweed salad, uh, red onions, avocado, and then I forgot what this stuff is. But this crunch. I stuff. think it's some onions, some crispy onions or something like that. So, hmm. and avocado, whatever it is, it's good. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt to eat this with some chopsticks. But baby, mm -hmm. I know it ain't gonna get it the way I need to. <laughs> what you supposed to? How you supposed to eat this? Y'all, have y'all ever had poke before? Child, you just get a little bite of everything. But how? When everything is all over the place, I you supposed to me. mix it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. I mean, I guess you could, but that would just be ghetto. Yeah. Then again, I don't know. Let me try. Let me get a little piece of this salad. Mm -hmm. That seaweed is good, baby. Thing over there, thing in and everything. Is it? I'm gonna have to move some of these things. Mmm. Yum yum. That seaweed is good. The avocado fresh too, because you know sometimes you be going places, baby. They be trying to give you some some crunchy avocado. Yeah, my mm -hmm. first time trying poke, mm -hmm. baby. I had to try something that was a little bit familiar. Man. What's this? Uh, oh, what's I, I can't. I can't entertain it in raw right now. Try <laughs> mm -mm. Can't entertain it in raw. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all get y'all some. Just oh wow. Some what? The avocado is fresh. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Hold on, y'all. Just give us a second to eat, and we're gonna talk to y'all. You know, I just thought about. I haven't really eaten all day. Can I have some more puns, please? <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. And we got some good old vitamin mm -hmm. water to knock that thing down. That's not vitamin water. I mean, not vitamin water, coconut water, y'all. Hell, listen, I'm hungry. It's okay? me. It's me, like. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is delectable and collectible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> you sound like Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do my niece like that. Don't do her. Because that girl said her food be good. I don't know. Y'all ever had poke? If y'all had poke, put it down in the comments. Get y'all some. Okay, I need the camera to stabilize. Get you some. Uh, everybody, get this song. Get, get this song. Per. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what? Just go ahead and get to this conversation. Uh -huh. I know what I'm about to say too. <laughs> well, I would hope you know what you're about to say. No, you're the one that's about to say sometimes it. I don't be knowing what I'm about to say. Mm, you're right. You sure as hell don't. And I be sitting there like. Baby, get your words together. Anyway. So, did y'all see the Oscars, the Academy Awards, the 94th? 
this past weekend. No, I didn't see it, but I sure saw Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and the news articles. <laughs> Baby, so if you, you just heard what I just said, so you already know where I'm going with this conversation. Baby, Will Smith knocked the piss out of Chris Rock. Tyler Ferguson thought he punched the man. I had to go back and watch it in slow motion. It was so loud. And, and I was like, why is this so loud? But that mic was right there. Right. And the thing is, when, it, when, when I saw it, I thought it was like a joke or a prank or like something right. within the show. Because you know, both of them are comedic. So... Mm -hmm. You know, then I see the next clip where he said, "Keep, keep my, my wife." F from name, I told my uh, keep my wife name, I told F from out. And he said it thrice too, I believe. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, he was serious. He said that with his chest. He meant that. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on it? Do you feel like he was wrong? Child, who am I to say whether somebody is wrong? That's what I feel. Ha, 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 however, common. Mm -hmm. This, this is my opinion. Mm -hmm. Baby, if you truly felt some type of way about it, like, why you just say pull homeboy aside after that and be like, look, homeboy, like I guess you was, I get you was trying to be comedic or whatever, but I don't appreciate that. That's what mature adult would do, in my opinion. Here's my thing. And two. Oh, no. he got an end too. He got an end too. This is my thing. This is really good. This, this year, I ain't stop eating yet. You know I'm talking. This is my thing. Like, as a celebrity, especially Jada and, and Will, they put so much of their lives out on that the internet. And so when you put so much of your lives out on the internet, like, you have to understand that that comes with a certain expectation that people are going to comment on it because you put it out there for them to comment upon it. And if they do comment upon it, and again, and you're offended by it, why don't you just pull that person aside and be like, hey, yo, bro, I didn't appreciate that. Like, I wish, you know, you wouldn't have said this, like, homegirl has a medical condition or whatever. I mean, you don't, and you don't have to explain yourself. Just be like, I really didn't appreciate that. Like, would you mind not doing it in the future? Right. I'm indifferent about it. And here's why. I feel like being that there has been so much, first of all, it was unexpected. Because mm -hmm. ain't nobody move. Everybody was like. It caught everybody off guard. Secondly, mm -hmm. I think because their relationship has been in the media so much, especially here recently, I believe that Will was just kind of like fed up. Mm -hmm. And I say that because I began to watch his documentary on um, YouTube. I didn't know he had a documentary. Yeah, and he just talks about like, you know, getting to like becoming him his best self basically uh -huh. and just like all of the things that he's gone through mentally mm -hmm. now i didn't complete the series i don't even know if it's complete but i don't know if he's still in the process of working with him with himself or Probably if he's still going this. through certain things because like maybe their relationship be out there out there and like everybody has an opinion on it and and then too you like growing up from in his childhood, you know, just watching his dad beat on his mom and just like different traumas that he has. And so I, I saw somebody make the comment of like, you know, maybe he was tired of like not being able to stick up for the people that he loved. And I think he mentioned that in his speech about just, you know, trying to be the best dad that he can be in protecting those who he loved because you know as i don't know if y'all know but he did the movie king richard and he pr played the father or whatever and basically like king richard like that's how he was he was an overprotective dad like and so he was saying like after you know taking on that role it really changed the way he looked at how he is as a father mm -hmm. so that's not that's not me saying that what he did was right because there is a time and place for everything but i can understand the frustration he may have had in that moment of like man like i'm just getting hit left and left and right so i'm i'm about to go stand up for myself not saying it was right did you um hear specifically what uh chris rock said because i know it had something to do with it was about her hair and, and gi jane but i didn't hear exactly what um he said i don't he said jada i love you um Something about the uh, next 
something along the lines of her being the next G.I. Jane and he was looking forward to it. Mm. And like if you like I saw on her face, like I guess whatever he said prior to that was funny because initially Will was laughing. Mm -hmm. And then when he said that joke and he saw how Jada reacted, she didn't really take that that joke lightly. It wasn't funny to him. And that's not the first time that he's commented on Jada. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I'm wondering too. Hmm. Hmm. I that's... understand, like, comedians are comedians, but it's like. So I'm wondering too if that's the first time, if that's not the first time he commented on her. I wonder had they said, like, had, with, like, Will or Jada acknowledged it and said something about it beforehand. Because mm -hmm. that changes things. I mean, not much. I think that's changed things. Charlie, at first I thought it was gonna be just another Kanye West experience and be like, hold on, I'm gonna let you finish. Right. I mean, simply it would. I mean, just... I get it, comedians are comedians, but like, I don't know. But that's the first time that I've I've seen like somebody have an immediate physical response like that to a comedian's joke on national television. Same. And I think that's why so many people were um were like, whoa. It's like the it's like the the the, the, the we're saying on TikTok. The woman was too stunned to speak. <laughs> Cause he joked about several people mm -hmm. that night. Well, apparently somebody said too that like Regina King made a comment about Jada. If y'all couldn't tell but I didn't watch it. I watched the, the after clip. I was I don't know what I was doing. I didn't watch it either. I just did like some research to see what happened, what led up to it, what happened after the fact. And then the crazy thing about it was because Will did that, it took away from the fact that he won. Right. What was it, Best Actor? Ooh. Or I think I think whatever, I think whatever for King Richard. Mm-hmm. Probably yeah, probably best. Okay. You know, best actor, that best film. I don't know, baby. And see, that just goes to show you. Like what he did really took away. Like people don't even know what award he won. Mm -hmm. Best actor, yeah. Yeah. Best actor, and they were nominated for best picture. Best picture. So I wonder if they're going to take his. Um, That's award what a back. lot of people were saying, and then a lot of people were saying, "Well, you know, well, why wasn't he escorted out? Because, you know, he did that, and then he sat right back down." That is true, and that's that's another thing I was thinking about, like. You can tell, but that's that's one thing that made me realize that it was actually for real because nobody moved. Like everybody was so stunned that they nobody moved. They, and then they contemplated as to like what they were gonna do. Mm -hmm. That's and why I you think, gotta know ye thy bylaws. And I think because when he got up there and accepted his award, he apologized or like mm -hmm. he explained the reason behind his action. I think they decided to um, let, him, let him stay, but. I was watching uh, one video and homegirl was like, so, I mean, Will just sat back down. Like, he ain't need to go take a smoke break. He ain't need to go get a, a, a drink, <laughs> some air. <laughs> so that's what I was going to say. Cause baby, at least pour me a glass of wine or whiskey or something. Baby, something take, cause take me out the room because I might go back up on stage if I'm that mad. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. But y'all let us know y'all thoughts in the comments. What y'all would have done? Do y'all think Will was wrong or what? I'm gotten, I'm gotten fooled. I know we about to go on and end this video because I need to go get a workout in. But yeah, y'all let us know in the comments. Hey, this boat, this was really good. This was. Mm. If you, if you are adventurous, I'm up. um, and you are a fan, or like if you are a fan of sushi or something, or if you just want to try something new. Um, yeah, go try go try poke and let us know how y'all like it. Um, and the place that we went to, it's called Poke Hawaiian Style. But they yeah. had poke bowls, then they also had hibachi bowls, and they also had acai bowls. So baby, mm -hmm. you can you can get you a cold bowl, you can get you a hot bowl, you can get you a dessert mm -hmm. bowl. This is why we can't have nice things. Y'all, so. anyway, this girl done dropped her chopsticks in her car, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and sign off. Before we do that, make sure y'all like this video. Comment <laughs> down below. Hit that subscribe button. If you're new to our channel and you watch this video all the way through, thank you for watching this video all the way through. We will see y'all next time. We have new videos here every Tuesday and every Thursday, and you don't want to miss them. Bye. We love y'all. Peace.